Did anyone see this coming? Josh Taylor recently had a fight against undefeated challenger Jack Catterall for the undisputed 140 pound world titles. Josh Taylor was heavily favored to win, with odds being at a whopping minus 2,000 in Taylor's favor. What did we watch this past weekend? How about a fight where one fighter was clearly superior to the other and it wasn't the favorite? Jack Catterall came to Taylor's backyard and was having his way with him for most of the fight. Jack was able to have the fight happen at his pace as he was able to disrupt Taylor's timing with his jab, and whenever Taylor tried to get inside when Jack wasn't ready, he would ram his shoulder into Taylor to keep things at pace. Jack Catterall even scored a knockdown, though it was basically nullified by a point deduction from an over-involved referee, who also deducted a point from Josh Taylor in the 11th. So why are we discussing this? It's due to the decision that was made and the scorecards that were given. I know being a boxing judge isn't easy, and it can be a pretty thankless job, but from what I saw from those scorecards, there was a true sign of incompetence and or corruption. Either that or they're just blind. Are you blind? Yes, I am. So? Wait, you're blind? Yes, blind. You got a problem with that, nigga? Let's start by addressing the problem with the scorecard. Other than round 10, Josh Taylor was outlanded in every other round. Josh Taylor spent a lot of time posturing and engaging in clinches, while Jack kept busier with his punches. Catterall threw more and landed more for the entire fight. In order to give Taylor this win, you would have to be able to find 7 rounds to give him, and finding those 7 is like finding a winning ticket in your scratch off lottery. My scorecard was 115, 110 in favor of Catterall, and honestly, giving Taylor 4 rounds could be considered generous. To give him more is incredibly disrespectful to the performance Jack had. In my honest opinion, this was a robbery, and following Josh Taylor saying he's moving up to 147, it's very likely that Jack will never get a shot at Taylor again. These kinds of decisions are just one of the reasons why boxing continues to give itself a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And the worst part is that nothing will be done. There's supposed to be an investigation coming for Ian John Lewis by the British Boxing Board of Control, but I highly doubt anything substantial will come from it. The worst part about all of this is that this is just another day in the sport of boxing. Awful and controversial decisions have almost become the norm to witness, not only in the pros, but in amateur competition as well. We all know about the extremely vile and controversial robberies in the Olympics handed out to fighters like Roy Jones and Floyd Mayweather Jr. In the pros, we have decisions that baffle the mind like Lara vs. Williams, Lewis vs. Holyfield, Canelo vs. Triple G1, Derevianchenko vs. Triple G, Estrada vs. Gonzalez 2, Hearns vs. Leonard 2, and so forth. We could fill up a local bank with all the theft that's allowed in the sport, but the fans have to hold some of this too. Now I know what you're thinking. The fans? What did we do? We just want good judging. Well, you're right. Y'all do, but you go after the wrong people. Blaming the fighter who benefits from the awful decision is like blaming a flat tire on a car that doesn't have an engine for the car not starting. It's time fans truly hold the commission of these sports to a higher degree and demand responsibility. These commissions are the ones who end up training and hiring these judges to score the fight, not the fighters. Judges aren't really reprimanded, and even if they are, the worst that really happens to them is they serve some sort of suspension and maybe have to be retrained only to go right back to fucking with a fighter's money yet again. It's a complete disgrace to the fighters who leave the ring with less of themselves than with what they entered. Only in combat sports can someone do enough and it's still not enough. Damn shame. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like and subscribe and also shoot some comments on what you'd like to see next or things to improve. I'll be having more recaps of teams or athletes live skits, and the start of a podcast. Enjoy your week.